Hey guys, welcome back for the first of the three Chapter 5 boss fights. The boss that you fight in Chapter 5 changes from pairing to pairing, and since I'm using Mercy and Alice to do the actual boss attack, I'll be showing that first. They're Chapter 5 boss first. I'll show the other two before I upload the extra, sta the extra chapter boss, but I haven't actually gotten that far in Desperate Mode for their stories yet, so it might be a day or two. Just letting y'all know that. But anyway, Marissa and Alice's chapter 5 boss is Patchouli, and that's how it works. The character that you didn't pick is always the chapter 5 boss. Patchouli is probably the middle, like the middle in difficulty. She's harder than Marissa, but easier than Alice. Marissa's the easiest one. Anyway, for this first spell card, Patchouli will fire those bullets at the character that you're controlling when she starts firing them, and then you can just switch and she'll keep firing at the other character. The only problem is, in the harder difficulties, the bullets actually overlap. And like, so they'll be firing at both characters at the same time, you can't switch right away. Which is why I'm dashing up and down like that. It's the easiest way to avoid them while you're waiting for a chance to attack her. And Patchouli will always become vulnerable a couple seconds after starting the purple group. And the purple group always happens once every two times, so... And as you can see, she came vulnerable there, so I hit her. Now I'm only comboing her with Alice because I know I can get her down to less than half of her HP, and I don't want to drop the combo. That's the only reason that I would do it with Alice alone, because Marissa would do more damage, but this is how it works. Now, obviously, you want to take out bosses as quickly as possible. It's especially true for the last two bosses, or any of the Chapter 5 bosses and the Extra Stage one. Because if you make one mistake, even if you know what you're doing it's possible, if you make one mistake you'll pay heavily for it. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a second. Like here, I think that would kill her, but no, she survives with like, almost no HP left. I don't know how that worked, but whatever. So now I have to do this again. And I make a. I mean, it's not a terrible mistake, but it's a pretty major one. Like, there I miss her, like, completely. I miss the chance to attack. And then I get hit by that. That does over half your HP, so if you get hit by all of them until you get knocked down twice, that character is down. Now, obviously, I can just switch to heal her, which is what I'm doing here also finish off the first spell card in the process. The second spell card sucks. At first, Patchouli just throws out eight cogwheels. The problem is, and you'll see it shortly, is that like the different groups of cogwheels will overlap. So there's 16 on the screen for a couple seconds. And the cogwheels don't automatically knock you down. You can take damage from like five or six of them at the same time, and basically every character knocked out right away. Now, I got lucky here though, because you can see Alice is in pretty bad shape and I wasn't really doing too well against the cogwheels, but I actually managed to take out Patchouli in one combo, and that's pretty difficult because all the chapter 5 bosses have a lot more HP than the other bosses, so it's something to keep in mind. This spell card. What you want to do is you want to destroy those spell circles around her, and then once you do that you can stand inside of them for her Mega Flare and not get damage. And then you have to try to attack her from here. Now, this is one of those spell cards that has no like opening on it, and you just have to keep damaging the boss. Kind of like Yu Yuko's last spell card, you just have to keep damaging her until she gets knocked out. She has no opening where you can combo up on her. Which is why I'm using Alice's spinning dolls from the from my safety area to hit her. Now, I'm gonna warn you now, this goes on for about another minute. And if you just want to skip ahead, do it because there's really nothing else to explain. Now when I said that the first spell card for the Scarlet Sisters is the strongest in the game, that wasn't entirely true, but it wasn't false either because I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure that this flare would kill you if you got hit by all of it and desperate. And And 
lunatic it does 90% of your health, so I can only assume it would kill your character in one hit in desperate mode. But, it's really all there is to say about it. It's, her second spell card is definitely the hardest of the three, just because like it has no safe spots and you just have to keep moving, keep track of all the cogwheels. And like to put it in perspective, I had no trouble with that card in Lunatic. Like, I hardly ever got hit because there are only six of those small cogwheels at one time. But eight, and I'm pretty sure they move faster in Desperate Mode. It's just a little much to deal with. So, just throwing that out there. Here, I decided to use a move that I haven't used yet to end the round, or end the boss fight, rather. That kick that I just used with Alice to knock out Pachuli is a pretty useless move. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and you can just honestly do more powerful attacks inside of it. But that's it for the first of the three Chapter 5 boss fights. I will be uploading, like I said, the other two Chapter 5 boss fights before the extra stage boss. I still will be doing the extra stage boss on boss attack for Mercer and Alice, but I will do the other pairings, Chapter 5 bosses, so I'll see you guys for those.